Guten Morgen, muchachos. How are you doing? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily. Now, I know it's been a minute, right? But yeah, it's been a minute in everywhere. In the podcast, Digest Dailies, lots of things, man. So much has been happening in the last two, three weeks for me. A lot of up and down. But now I'm back for the next two weeks. I know I'll be, I'll be available. Okay? So we can be doing this a bit more often. Now, what a week it has been, man. Yo, this week has been crazy in every way you can think of from real life situations to footballing situations of course the ukraine crisis uh ukraine uh russia crisis goes on football is just going mental i'm as in yo it's it's been a heck of a week it's been, for journalists and for guys who feed off news mm, so i want to bloat oh they're bloating man there's so much to talk about i don't even know where to start let's start with the easiest one all right, then do the crisis. Now, do these are being fought in Kenya and in the UK. Now, we all know why, don't we? Of course, we know the Kisanga that happened here in Kenya at Forest Road, cracked down major on uh, so border border. Okay, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever you look at it, Kundasam innocent guys have been caught up in them, and you know, it's just the way it is. When you went on my picture, so yeah, and now they're putting in placards here saying we are sorry, that was happening in Kenya, and 24 hours later, it happened in the UK. Now, the UK government sanctioned Abramovich. That means <laughs> Chelsea is in shit. And that one has come. And when they say it rains and pours, it's actually pouring at Stamford Bridge. So they were sanctioned, okay? Uh, Abramovich was sanctioned. We all know he owns Chelsea, majority shareholder, if not the sole shareholder. Uh, so he cannot sell Chelsea. He was in the process of selling Chelsea. That's not going to happen. Chelsea cannot sign any new players. Chelsea cannot sell players. Chelsea cannot renew contracts. Chelsea cannot sell tickets. The only guys who can go to Stamford Bridge are the season ticket holders. Now, I wonder, out of 42,000 capacity, how many are season ticket holders? Jumazi Sasa, when Chelsea takwa nika in the home, they don't, you don't be feeling that intimidation when you're going to Stamford Bridge. There are not many fans. Unless these guys now, they cannot even transition to be season, season ticket holders now, can they? Kau kwa ina kwa season ticket hold, kau kwa season ticket, you cannot buy it anymore. So it's it's crazy at Chelsea. That and then I think a day later, or is it the same day? Hours later, number three one up kanga upper, they, that company said they want to be removed from the Chelsea's kits. They don't want to be seeing their number with guys who are supporting Putin. Alright, so your sponsorship Nikaki Dogo, it's moving away. So it's it's crazy, man. As in Chelsea say what wanna back it in a I can't wait to see the kit they'll dawn over the weekend. Who are they playing against this weekend? I can't wait to see, man. Crazy. And maybe there's more to come for, for Chelsea. We just don't know, man. We just have to wait. All right? So it's it's bad for Chelsea, man. A club that is 19 years old. Going down with 19. 19. 20. Mazi? 19 years. I don't know, man. The repercussions for this one might be huge. Guys, like, uh, of course, they cannot give guys like uh, Rudiger a new contract. That guy is leaving. As Plikweta, he's, uh, I think his contract was ending uh, this June, June this year. Gone. Christensen, gone. Uh, who is this other guy? There are like four guys of whose contracts in Liquid Nation. So they cannot renew them. Chelsea, what have Kukana Lukaku? Because they cannot sign another striker. They can have, they'll have to stay with Timo Vana. Even us, you cannot be buying guys like Broja. They cannot sell. You cannot, no one can buy Timo Vana. They were planning to sell him to Borussia Dortmund. It's not going to happen. They cannot sell. So they are well caught up. And I feel I feel bad for Chelsea. I mean, and Chelsea fans also undo the as in na pigwa Kenya na na UK. Feel bad for you, but I'm kind of loving it, man. I'm sorry, it's, it's making me smile badly, man. Kuleni eh alwa jinga nini? Anyway, as in I'm I'm sorry, but I can't help but smile, man. I'm kind of happy about that. I am. I just want to see how you guys will handle it. Chelsea wamekuwa kiringa sana huko nini? Wanatumia pesa ukora ya Abramovich. He has finally caught up with them. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what it is, man. So Chelsea are in shit, for lack of a better word. Um, then, of course, we had the Champ Champions League happening. Another crazy week, man. The PSG versus Madrid game. Now, I saw PSG have two goals cancelled off from Papi. I'm like, okay, these guys are going to clap Madrid, a good one. As in, they were the better team, I think, the first half. Mbappe got a goal, of course, the first goal. Fantastically taken. And then the second half, they just fucking fell apart. Now, on the summer in Sport Bible, showing the formation of uh, PSG in the second half when they were starting to, you know, fall. 
you know, to, into the hands of Benzema. It's just crazy. The three front guys cannot help you with anything. It was 4-3. It's supposed to be 4-3-3, but it was just 4-3 defending against Benzema and Modric and Valverde. Because Casemiro was not there. 4-3, the other three were Koko Mbali, wamejueka huko kando, wakina Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, uh, 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 we don't track back, sisi, mtulete bo luku, atuendi kufe chuko, just bring it here. And man, that's, that, was, that was the beginning of the end for PSG, man, they got clapped a good one. Benzema with the 17 minutes hat-trick, he's now the third top scorer in Madrid. Yeah, I think he's the oldest person to have a hat-trick in the Champions League, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah, it, it's crazy, they absolutely overturned that, they were, they were trailing 1-0. From the first leg then of course they won that game 3-1 that's what that's 3-2 in aggregate and now of course they are through to the next round psg again pochettino showing exactly why he needs to go to manchester united i may pass your audition he has bottled again as in you can get someone out of spurs but you cannot get the spurs out of him i i don't understand as in yani hey psg will chukwa messi donnarumma wijnaldum all these guys for free and they cannot do shit because that Donnarumma was at fault for the first goal I actually understand this might be Roma's I don't know how true it is Nani Donnarumma and Neymar were going at each other in the dressing room after after the final whistle <sighs> crazy shit man so PSG must say out you can bet Nani is leaving what do you call him Pochettino he's gonna get his ass sucked uh, for sure and United are definitely looking at him they should absolutely get him yes so let's wait uh, and see how that's going to turn out. We also had other games. Um, Inter Milan playing against Liverpool on Tuesday. They won that game 1-0. But, well, it was not enough because, you know, Liverpool had won 2 nil at, at Milan. So 2-1 in aggregate for Liverpool. Well, he picked a post twice by the way, Liverpool. Could have been a different scoreline there. Uh, we also had uh, Bayern München up against Salzburg. Now this one, hey, Bayern ni kawa alisikia vi baya sana wakati wali shikuwa draw uh, game ya kwanza. Wali pigama mgai 7-1. Seven goddamn one. I think Lewandowski had a hat trick. Yeah. So seven one. Of course, they won eight two on aggregate or in aggregate, if you like. Uh, then yesterday on Wednesday, we also had another game happening. That was between who? Mm -hmm. As PSG were mauling, were being mauled by Madrid. There was another game that was happening. Okay. You may say maybe it's not that important. Uh, but they got me thinking. If you had Benzema. And you had Lewandowski. Yeah, who would you go for? Who's the most complete striker? Well, I mean, Lewandowski bangs them goals for sure. But Benzema bangs and assists. So, who would you go for there? Good question. I think I'll be posting that question to you. And we'll be discussing it on our podcast next week. We shall definitely be having the podcast. Um, then, of course, Thursday we had the Europa League slash Conference League, the first leg of the round of 16. But then, if you haven't noticed, nowadays I'm a round of 32 in... Um, I'm a round of 64 in uh, Europa League. No. They take the guys who drop from the Champions League. They play with the guys who played second. Then whoever wins there comes and meet the guys who are top. So it's like two rounds of 16s. There's no one round of... Uh, of 32 uh, in uh, in Europa League like it used to be before. No shockers there, really. But really, Barcelona drew nil nil with Galatasaray. Um, West Ham were, but they were clapped by Sevilla one nil. Any other shocking result? Not really. Uh, then of course we had teams like Leicester City playing in the Conference League. They won that game against Rennes. So nothing much, much shocking happened in those fixtures. Really, nothing much. Of course, we shall be having, of course, match day digest tonight from 8 p.m. Alongside Chris from the locker room. I'm sure you all know about him. Um, we shall be discussing a lot about what has happened this week in details. And of course, we shall, we shall also be doing a preview of uh, the games being played this weekend. We have two big games. One of them is a big game because we want to be seeing who shall be bantering next. Now, United versus Pass. Yeah, big game, but, you know, we are not there to be entertained by good football. We are just there to be entertained by howlers, you know, teams that are flip-flopping, you know, to talk to Banta and Atakula next. But for Arsenal versus Leicester, we are there to be entertained with good football. That's the difference between the two of them. All right, so we shall be dissecting that and digesting it in details later on tonight from 8 p.m. That's all for now. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll be catching you guys later at 8. Adios.